Hello everyone and welcome to this video. On this video, we're going to look at NWA Hollywood Wrestling. It is a very interesting story and to start it all off, Jack Lord will start us off. In 1942, Frank Garbutt, Vice President of the Los Angeles Athletic Club, hired former California State Athletic Commissioner and Commission Inspector Alvin Alva, I'm sorry, Cal Eaton as the promoter of the Grand Olympic Auditorium at the advice of his secretary, Elaine LaBelle. Eaton and LaBelle married in 1948, and over the following years, the couple became major professional wrestling and boxing promoters in Southern California. In the early 1950s, the Eatons, along with Hugh Nichols, Johnny Doyle, and Mike Hirsch, collectively known as the California Combine, dominated professional wrestling in Southern California, leading to the United States Department of Justice antitrust investigation in 1955 and 1956. Wow. Wow. All right. Then uh, <clears throat> on July the 24th, 1957, Luthes defeated Edouard Carpentier under the under controversial circumstances to win the NWA World Heavyweight Championship the principal championship recognized by the National Wrestling Alliance. The decision was challenged by some of the members of the National Wrestling Alliance who continued to recognize Carpentier as the World Heavyweight Champion. In 1958, the Eatons created the North American Wrestling Alliance as the new vehicle for promoting professional wrestling in Los Angeles. Eaton at the time was still a member of the National Wrestling Alliance, the national league that dominated professional wrestling in the United States, but had not paid dues since 1955. In October 1959, Eaton and LaBelle withdrew from the NWA, recognizing Carpentier as the inaugural, uh, I guess that's the right word, a World Heavyweight Champion backdated to June 14, 1957, when Carpentier uh, had won, uh, originally won the NWA World Championship. Uh, the promotion was renamed Worldwide Wrestling Associates in 1961. Uh, the promotion ran events throughout Southern California with the Grand Olympic Auditorium as its base. Bookers included Jules Strongbow, Freddie Blassie, Mr. Moto, and Gory Guerrero. The promotion developed a working relationship with the Japan Wrestling Association and New Japan Pro Wrestling, resulting in many talent changes. Uh, Alan Eaton introduced a system of paying wrestlers a proportion of the gate rather than a guaranteed fee boosting profits and encouraging wrestlers to help promote the events. The promotion also pioneered the use of closed-circuit television to show matches to fans who weren't able to secure tickets for live events, an early precursor to the pay-per-view model that emerged in the, in the 1980s. You know, that's wow. They're the ones that come up with the uh, 25 to 30% to go to the wrestlers. That's yep. incredible. Yeah, that's, that's something. Okay, in 1963, WWA World Heavyweight Champion Bearcat Wright faced Fred Bla uh, Freddie Blassie in a bout that Wright was scripted to lose. Instead, Wright headbutted Blassie, dazing him, and then legitimately pinned him. Wright was subsequently pinned of the championship, and, that, and then it was awarded to Edward Capontier. Eaton died on January 10th, 1966 with Eileen's son from a prior marriage, Mike LaBelle, taking over on behalf of his mother, who by then was a major figure in boxing. On August the 18th, 1968, LaBelle rejoined the NWA, renaming the promotion NWA Hollywood Wrestling. The WWA World Heavyweight Championship was abandoned, and the promotion began recognizing the NWA's World Championship once more. In August of 1971, the, promoter, the promotion set a national gate record for an event headed by a bout between Blassie and John Tolos that sold 142158 yeah, dollars. There we go. That's a, that's that's a, a 1971. That's a 1971. Yeah. That was huge. We need, we need to find the calculator, but I'm sure that hits in the millions. 
Yeah, but it does. That's incredible. Uh, NWA Holloway Wrestling continue to operate until folding on December 26, 1982. In March of 1983, the World Wrestling Federation began promoting shows in its former territory. If I'm not mistaken, the LaBelle also might have been the local promoter uh, there at the time. Yeah. A very interesting story. Very interesting story on these two people. I, we are going to go a little more in depth in this. Because I would like to find out a little bit more information about the antitrust trust uh, thing that happened. Uh, it, it is it is available, but uh, I want to make sure that we get it all correct before we talk about uh, antitrust. Because I think it had a lot to do with skimming off the top of some stuff uh, that they wasn't supposed to be doing. <laughs> what I found interesting in this is that, that they did... They must have been the ones that decided, said, listen, we're going to pay our, 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 you know, a lot of talent got paid 25% or 30% of the gate after taxes. That was what they would get of the, and to, to think they're the ones that decided to do that. That's, that's an incredible, yeah. incredible thing that I never knew. Did y'all ever know this? No, I didn't know where it came from. I knew that was a long-term practice, you know, yeah. when I, when I came in. I mean, I that was just that was just a tremendous thing. Uh, anything we need to speak about before we uh, leave this video? I think we've covered everything pretty well, Rodney. No, I think it's good. Uh, that, well, that's the Olympic Auditorium for those that not. I think that's just what I remember as Olympic Auditorium. Just a great place. Uh, in fact, I do believe there is a match with the Infernos with J.C. Dykes against Antonio Noki and I forget the partner uh, Saruta. Jumbo Saruta uh, from there. It's two out of three fall match. Check it out. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe to the page if you haven't already and go one step further. Hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to have a t-shirt and support it, go to ProWrestlingTees.com. Put Pro Wrestling Inside and Out, and it will uh, it will get you there so you, you can support the channel by buying a t-shirt. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next video right here on Pro Wrestling Inside Now.